This is Quill West. I'm one of the librarians on the Open Course Library Project. And I am contacting all of you today on behalf of the librarians involved in the project. And we are um, really contacting you because we have discovered that in order to make this beautiful production that we're working on happen, we need some help from you. And we also need to remind you of some things that are coming up. So um, I'm actually recording this so we can talk through so I can tell you a little bit about the copyright and information literacy reviews that are due very soon. In fact, we have looked into the future and um, we know that on May 25th, your information literacy review is due. And then on June 1st, we need to have completed an, a learning resources review, which means most of your librarians are already working on this right now. Um, so in order to find out some more about these things, we thought we would get, um, keep exploring this production of ours. So first, let's talk about the Information Literacy Review, because its due date is the first one coming, but again, most of us are already working on the other reviews. So um, the Information Literacy Review um, is attached to a rubric that should be loaded already into your class folder. Um, and that rubric is just a way for us to make sure that you have considered information literacy in some way. We're not going to define how information literacy happens in your class, but we do want to make sure that each librarian has an opportunity to talk with each faculty designer um, to make sure that there's some kind of information literacy consideration going into your assignments. Um, and some of you may have classes that don't really fit those guidelines, but we still want to talk to you and make sure that you've thought about it. Um, so that is the information literacy review. Again, you have the rubric, so please, if you don't have it, contact your librarian and ask for it, because we do need to sign off on that review by May 25th. The next thing um, that's really important, um, and I chose the picture that you're looking at here, because uniformity is increasingly important in this project. We know each one of your classes is vastly different than the other class, but the learning resources that you're using for your classes have got to fit our information or our information standards in order to be included in the class. And you'll notice that your librarians are being a little bit more of sticklers about the way this happens, and there's a, some very, very good reasons. We are not being sticklers because we don't want to help you. We are being sticklers because this class has to meet a different criteria than the classes you teach in your classroom. Because we're distributing these classes, we cannot count all the way on fair use the way that you can when you're distributing things to your students. Um, and the TEACH Act doesn't really apply as easily for us because um, we're talking about something that we need to distribute, which means we have to ask for copyright permission on everything that you link in your class. So please, please, please work with a librarian um, to make sure that the materials that you're linking to are ones that we can use. Because we will be auditing your class and if something doesn't fit the um, legal and ethical rights for us to be able to distribute, we're going to ask you to take it out of your class. Um, again, uniformity is increasingly important in this step because everything has to meet the same standard and it happens to be the law. Um, so the last piece of standardization that we're really asking for is that everybody cites an MLA. Um, this is just easier for other people to access and use the materials. Um, and it fits the same thing that you would tell your students, that we ask for citation styles because they're easier and more uniform for everybody to understand. So we're going to start asking, if we haven't already asked already, we are going to ask you to start converting your citations for all of your materials, even if it's a link to like the OWL at Purdue because you want somebody to understand citation styles, we're going to ask you to cite it correctly. Um, and your librarians are more than happy to help with that, but we cannot do all your citing for you because many of you have more than 100 items involved in your class. So please be kind to us and think about that. Um, so those are the two big reviews that are coming up soon, and we're hoping that if you have any questions about that, you will make sure to ask us so that we can all dance away um, happy from this production. So again, thank you, and if you have any questions, contact your librarian.